Well, hello and welcome back everyone to our nine month ultimate world cruise adventure. Well, today we go through some beautiful jungle hanging bridges, have one of the best desserts we've ever had and fight off heat exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to living phase two. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Nancy. And we're empty nesters striving to live life to the fullest. And we're living that full life aboard Royal Caribbean's nine-month ultimate world cruise on Serenade of the Seas. We sure are. Well, where are we at today, Nancy? Well, we're in Punta Arenas, Costa Rica today. And this this is a beautiful location. It really is. Costa Rica. We've always wanted to come here. Uh, ever since our daughter was 18, she went here with a group of friends after high school uh -huh. and raved about Costa Rica. We've never been able to be here. And, and now we're there. So it's nice to get a chance to check it out. Yeah, it so. really is. Well, tell us about our tour a little bit. Yeah, so we have an SEG tour, which is Shore Excursions Group. And we got off the ship and walked down a long pier and got on a small bus. There were only 15 of us, so it was a small tour. We're going to see the hanging bridges. We're going to take a boat ride mm -hmm. um, and just see the beauty of Costa Rica. Right, but the first indication we had something wasn't perfect was we got on the bus and it was about 20 degrees hotter in the bus than it was outside and it was about it was 80 warm. degrees outside it was hot on that bus now we gave them the benefit of the doubt and said okay maybe they just pulled up and just started the bus so we're like okay right and so we all piled on we got ready and and the bus took us on about a 45 minute drive out to where we could go to the hanging bridges and unfortunately during that whole ride the the temperature situation didn't get any better. It didn't. Now I will tell you, we did bring three bottles of water off mm -hmm. the ship with us. So mm -hmm. we had them in our bags. And pro tip, always be prepared. Always bring water. Bring more so water these... than you think you're That's going right. to need. That's right. That is and so we, true. We certainly were using it as... Uh, and finally, we just gave up on the air conditioner of the bus. We opened the windows, and that wasn't too bad driving along the road. As we were driving, our guide gave us uh, some of the history of Costa Rica. It had been founded by Spain and had originally been a Spanish colony. Now it's an independent country at this point. Um, the Costa Rica means rich coast, mm -hmm. and they produce uh, coffee, bananas, uh, pineapple, but mm -hmm. the, the largest product that they produce is coffee, and we mm -hmm. did get to taste some. It was very good, yes. yes yeah, it was. We'll, we'll tell you about that a little later when we went to a shopping stop yeah. as part of this tour. <laughs> but our first stop was at the Hanging Bridges, and that was that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That there were three bridges that we went across that crossed these these valleys mm -hmm. that and mm -hmm. it was just just beautiful to mm -hmm. see all of the nature and the birds and they ranged anywhere from 130 feet to 300 feet mm -hmm. across. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. You know, it is and they are swinging bridges. They're suspended yes. bridges. So if you're a little nervous on your feet or maybe a little scared of heights, this might not be the tour Correct. for you. The path to get to the water Walking bridges is about a mile long and it's very uneven. There's lots yes. of stones, it's up and down. They gave us walking sticks so that it made it a little bit easier if you didn't bring your own. Right. I think this is a real good just warning to know your limitations. We did have one member of our tour group uh, because of the heat. I think it, in addition, because there was no air conditioning on the bus, the heat was building up. It was in the mid to upper 80s today with high humidity. Uh, you need to make sure that you're listening to your body, drinking lots of water she on these. She was feeling it. Yeah. Yeah, she and really that was. was very unfortunate. Luckily, yeah. she did recover later and was able to do some of the other tour items with us. Uh, but just always uh, listen to your body and know those limitations. And on all these tours, bring more water than you think you're going to need. I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. uh, but we hiked the, the trails, went to each of the bridges, went over them, got some great pictures, looked through the jungle. It was beautiful. a lot of fun. It was, it was beautiful to see all of the nature, all of the trees. And uh, I honestly, it was a tour I had really been looking forward to and mm -hmm. it didn't disappoint in mm -hmm. this respect. Right. So now these bridges are actually owned and the property is owned through a resort called La Paz. And the we went from the bridges back to the resort. Mm -hmm. And there they just gave us a little break. They gave us some fruit, some fruit juice. We could wander around the grounds of the resort. We got some great pictures. Saw lots of iguanas. We did. Big iguanas. Mm -hmm. Like 
three plus feet yeah, to get yeah. big iguanas. Yeah, so and there was a wedding going around. on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to see that uh, as they're preparing. All the bridesmaids and the bride uh-huh. was getting ready for the wedding. And it was a nice resort. So as part, if you stay at this resort, as part of it, you can go on the bridges. They have different activities that you can go to. And th- that was part of showing us that. Right. Next, on our way to our boat ride, we we got back on the bus and we crossed over the Crocodile Bridge. And the reason it's called the Crocodile Bridge is because there's a lot of crocodiles underneath it. People will drop food off of the Crocodile Bridge to feed the crocodiles Mm -hmm. and that attracts a lot of them Mm -hmm. there. Yeah, they've gotten to know that area. So there's shopping and different little straw markets near there. So you can, if you're on your own, you can drive your car, park it there and go and look at the crocodiles from that bridge. But we went on past that because we were getting a boat ride to go see crocodiles. Right. We went on the Crocodile Man Tour, mm-hmm. and so when we got on the boat, uh, it it took us up and down uh, the Crocodile River all the way out to really the, the mouth of the ocean right. where it's brackish water, mm-hmm. where fresh water meets the ocean water. Mm-hmm saw lots of crocodiles and an incredible amount of birds Mm -hmm. that were just it was beautiful well here take a look at some of the pictures and video that we got Well, that was fun. That, that was, was a lot of fun. I would recommend that tour. Yes. You, you, really, if you're going to be in this area of Costa Rica, uh, yeah, that, that's a do not miss. And, and it might be a good time to mention you know, the western and eastern sides of Costa Rica, because it does straddle Central America. There's a Caribbean side and a Pacific side. The Caribbean side does actually even have more wildlife than the Pacific side. Uh-huh. So, you know, you can go to either side. The resorts are a little different. The experience is a little different. Kind of two faces of Costa Rica, which just as a reminder, we're on the Pacific Pacific side on the western side. Right. So, well, where'd we go next? Well, the last stop on our on our short excursions group tour was a shopping stop at mm-hmm. El Jardin. And That's right. All rides end in the gift shop at Disney, right? <laughs> they <No>. do. <laughs> we were able to get more water to drink at, at this point, which was mm-hmm. good. Yeah, because we were, by now, we were hot. We had gone through our three bottles of water, mm-hmm. which was surprising. I'm usually overstocked with water, and it was it was really good to to have a little bit of extra yes, water. But we also got to try some Costa Rican coffee there. We did, and that was really really good. Also, while we were there, we saw the beautiful painted carts. That seems to be something that's very mm-hmm. popular in mm-hmm. Costa Rica. We picked up um, the I picked up my Christmas ornament. Mm-hmm. You got a patch there. Mm-hmm. So our check check off Costa Rica on the <laughs> yes. patch. Hunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, after the shopping stop, we got back on the bus and they took us back downtown and dropped us off right at the port. Well, we decided to stay in town and have a little adventure. But before we tell you about that adventure, we always like to invite you to subscribe to our channel. And if this was a interesting and fun video, learning a little bit about Costa Rica, hit that like button. Let YouTube know that they should share this video Thank out to you, other friends. people. Thank you, friends. We appreciate you. We truly do. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So what did we do in town? Well, we had supper mm-hmm. and we walked, we walked the streets there near the port. And there was a lot of little shopping straw market type uh, vendors that were there. Mm -hmm. The restaurant that we went to, um, it's actually kind of an open air restaurant Mm -hmm. that was open to the street. Mm -hmm. And And the backside was open to the beach. beach. So, and it was, it was Mm -hmm. delicious and didn't disappoint. We had a ceviche, one Mm -hmm. of my favorites. Um, It was a huge bowl of ceviche. Yes, it was. And nachos. And you had a casada, which Mm -hmm. is a plate of rice, beans, meat, a vegetable. 
vegetable. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of the traditional meal in Costa yeah. Rica. It's it's just that mixture of rice, beans, and a protein and some plantains. Yeah. It was it was good. It, mm -hmm. it was all really really good. Got mm -hmm. got rehydrated. Oh then. my gosh, we drank so much there. You know, <laughs> we had water. We had a we had you had a diet coke. We had beer. We had yeah. We drank so much to get rehydrated. Yes. It then, we it really the heat kind of does take it out of you a little bit. We does. were actually kind of tired then too from uh, being in the you know almost a hundred degree temperatures on that right. bus all day. So well, we cooled down with dessert. We so did. Our guide told us where a local dessert. It's called the Churchill, mm -hmm. and he said this is the place to go and so he he had guided us the where where we needed to walk to get yeah, it's that. about a half mile down from mm -hmm. the port yeah and the church hill is was probably one of the best desserts we've ever had mm -hmm. it was shaved you have a cup and there's shaved ice in the bottom on top of the shaved ice they put a syrup of, of your choice of flavors mm -hmm. on top of that they add fresh fruit vanilla ice cream sweetened condensed milk on top of the vanilla ice cream and even more fruit yeah so, and then whipped cream on the top of that it was yeah. so <laughs> yummy it was it was it, it was crazy how yeah. good it was yeah so we sat by the beach there's a little park mm -hmm. that uh, overlooked the ocean and we had our churchill in the evening and uh, then we had to head back luckily our, it was a very late night in port right, for our ship. we didn't have to get back to the ship until it was about 8 30. yes night, yeah and so i love those late nights I that do makes too. it nice we can see a little bit more mm -hmm. of just what it's like to be in these countries. Yes, yes. And so, Nancy, the thing we always like to ask, would you come back to Costa Rica? I would, because there's actually more I, I want to see. We didn't get to see the volcanoes mm -hmm. on this trip, and mm -hmm. so that's something I'd like to come back and see. Mm -hmm. But it was just, it was so beautiful and, and fun, and mm -hmm. I absolutely would come back to Costa Rica. Yeah, absolutely. And, of course, to see the Caribbean side as well as the yes. Pacific side. Um, I think there's so much to explore in Costa Rica. And and one of the things we didn't mention is Costa Rica is known as probably the safest Central American country. That's they have what, a wonderful economy. Right. It's a safe country. It's a great place to come and vacation. And mm -hmm. yeah, I, th I think this is a definite we will be back here yes, place. Yes, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. So our next adventure... Guatemala. Mm -hmm. So this was not a planned stop. They had dropped uh, Nicaragua. We weren't able mm -hmm. to get there. So they added Guatemala and mm -hmm. we got to do chocolates and jewels yes, so you'll yes. stay tuned for that next time yeah actually some amazing jade jewelry that you you really want to see and if i'm saying that i'm not a jewelry <laughs> guy you're gonna love that so well thank you again everyone for tuning in to us we do really appreciate it hope you're enjoying our nine month world cruise adventure and we will see you again in guatemala have a beautiful day bye-bye friends bye-bye